our top story this morning, those overnight storms we just talked about. Today we are checking out the damage left behind as crews continue cleaning up. Yeah, the storm system brought down trees and power lines across the region. I actually saw a couple trees that were still down this morning driving in. So be careful out there on the roads. Mel's live in Potomac with more on the cleanup efforts this morning. Mel? Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, uh, look, I got to say, uh, Crews did a great job overnight with a lot of that storm cleanup. We just left uh, the Potomac Trevilla area where they had a number of power outages overnight and some very large trees down. Crews there wrapped up their work, doing a really good job. We're heading now over to Northern Virginia where we understand there's still about a thousand customers in the Dominion, Virginia area that are without power but let's show you some of the video from last night those big trees that came down certainly uh, in Potomac these came down with a crash blocking Lloyd Road homeowners say the rain was pouring down hard and then at least one transformer blew we saw fire and and that was the fantastic part I mean we didn't expect to see fire in the middle of a rainstorm. It's just a terrible disaster. Uh, we don't know if we'll get out for days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is blocking all the street. It's blocking our driveway. And uh, we're not sure what the situation is with the electrical power. We don't have any power. And that was John Burkhart last night at the height of that power outage situation. But by 5.30 this morning, we saw him again. He came out very pleased that those crews were able to go ahead and get his power back on and that of his neighbors as well. You know, the restoration crews, they do this all night long. They tell me that uh, they get that call and they are told to come in. They're always on the ready when storms come in. Now, coming up in our next uh, hour, hopefully we'll be coming to you from Northern Virginia as well. I want to talk a little bit about storm preparedness because this is the time to start getting ready for those summer storms. We'll send it back to you.